Seen it happening today, San Francisco launching a new crackdown on illegal street vendors. Now that move is meant to eliminate what critics argue is one of the city's growing problems. And in some cases, a lot of warnings were handed out yesterday. Today at the base, Ginger Connor Harold Sob, she's live for us this morning. And Ginger, okay, it sounds like some argue that this new law targets uh, certain communities more than others. Well, that's what some advocacy groups are saying, Marcus. This legislation was passed several months ago and has been enforced here or there. But today, there is a, a bigger goal of really cracking down on illegal vendors, specifically in areas like San Francisco's Mission District, like 24th Street and Bart Plaza. Now, if this happens, uh, law, lawmakers who pass this legislation are hoping to reduce open-air drug markets that are also taking place in the area and then also hoping that this will eventually lead to uh, thieves uh, cracking down on thieves stealing from brick and mortar businesses only to resell those goods on the streets now the problem with cracking down on on this however is that there are legitimate small businesses who for a long time have sold their goods there and they are the ones that some advocacy groups are saying will get caught in the middle activists have already protested that the permit program will criminalize poor people of color but local officials say otherwise. Supervisor Hillary Ronan, who co-authored the legislation, has called the problem, quote, incredibly complex and has said on Twitter that the illegal vending has become untenable and is causing problems for the whole neighborhood. Back in July, she said on Twitter in part, quote, it infuriates me to see a once beautiful and vibrant community space overrun by open air drug markets and vendors selling stolen goods. So what happens now? Vendors can apply for a permit for $430. Now that fee can be waived if they make less than 200% of the federal poverty level, which is under $25,700. Now, if they've also received Medi-Cal food stamps or a free Muni pass, or if they are a qualified nonprofit, that may also mean that the fee is waived. Now, if the goods are confiscated today or sometime in the future, it can take up to 90 days to get those goods back. There are also fines associated with that $250 for the first violation, and that can also grow up to $1,000 for the third violation. We know that San Francisco police will be accompanying Department of Public Works today as they make their rounds. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out, not just today, but also in the longer run. Marcus? Yeah, certainly interesting to see. And, and it is, like you said, tough for those, uh, the legitimate businesses that are out there that now uh, have to find mm -hmm. a new way. All right, Ginger, thank you.